Jim Jordan called me crying, crying, groveling on the 4th of July, begging me to go against my brother, begging me, crying for a half hour. That's the kind of cover-ups that go, that's going on there. Jim Jordan called me several times after that. That week, I had to have my lawyer call him, tell him to stop calling me. I had a teammate, George Pardos, I called and told him, call Jim Jordan and tell him to quit calling me or I'm going to beat his ass. He's throwing us under the bus, all of us. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's not a leader. He's a coward. I'm a leader. I, I, I was captain of these guys. That's why I'm here. I would never abandon my team. He abandoned us. Our head coach abandoned us. He's flipped his story. He called other people to flip their story. He called Mark Coleman to flip his story. He called his parents, 90 years old. That's the kind of person Jim Jordan is. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.